Hey guys, on Mother Not Every Day, today we're making fresh ricotta. So let's get started. The ingredients that you'll need are three tablespoons of vinegar, one cup of water, and four cups of whole milk. Like whole milk, you don't want to use 1% or 2% milk. You won't have the correct ricotta. So make sure you have whole milk, it's a crucial thing. So let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is add your milk and your water into a little wok and heat it until the milk is at so a now that your milk is at a rolling boil, we just turned it down so it wouldn't boil over. You want to add in your vinegar. Be careful when you add in your vinegar. Oh yes, and by the way, um, for the vinegar you want to deglaze it by adding the same proportion of water to it. Like what you're ma basically making is a vinegar simple syrup. But it's not going to be sweet, it's going to be sour. So since we're using three tablespoons of vinegar in this recipe, you'll also need three tablespoons of water added to the vinegar. And as you can see, we're getting our ricotta and you want to slowly stir it. If you stir too fast, then it is not going to work. You can see it's getting slightly greenish type color. And at this point, you also want to get your cheesecloth ready. Because we will drain this out. And you want to make sure that you don't like strain it out too quickly before the ricotta is fully fertilized. Okay, then turn off your heat and go over to the sink where we can strain out our fresh ricotta. And by the way, this sort of limey greenish color is the most crucial part. If you get this color, then you know that you did this thing right. Here's our cheesecloth and we're pouring it in super slowly. Be super careful and pour it in slowly because the liquid is very hot and if it splatters at you, you might get burnt. And always wear an oven mitt when you're doing these types of stuff. Once you got all of that pasta out of your wok, then you want to rinse it off with very, very cold water and make sure that you cool down the ricotta. Once it's cool to the touch, make sure to rinse out any extra water and then you're going to let it hang outside until it's dry, basically, but you still want it to be slightly moist. And this depends on what you're making. Like, if you're making something sweet that requires kind of moist ricotta, then you can not dry it as much, or if you're making a recipe that requires dry ricotta, you can dry it more. Okay, so now we're going to just let it hang for six to seven hours. Or prefer so once your ricotta dries for about six to seven hours, or if you are using it for like a soft recipe, then you might need to use it like after it sits out for 10 minutes, which we are showing right now. And this is how it will basically look. You can eat this ricotta like right now. It's not going to be poisonous or anything. Like it will taste good. Like you can eat it by itself. You don't necessarily have to put it in dishes. So preferably you are you can eat ricotta with sugar, which is like basically the best in our preference. If you want to get a recipe with uh, ricotta, that's a sweet recipe, you can go over to my website at mother.everyday.com and click on the ricotta pilau. Then you'll get an excellent recipe on how to use ricotta. And the serving size for this ricotta. So this ricotta will end up having two cups, even though you use four cups of milk, but you'll end up with two cups of fresh ricotta. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel to get more of these videos. This video will go out to the Grandma playlist. But other than that, see you next week. Goodbye.